Once upon a time in the project. Condo, homeboy in a homemade bungalow. In the middle of the end of the day, in one way. meeting. Well, Muriel, I realize I've been wrong. There's no need to shout at tenants when they ask me to do my job. That's right. Not when I can silence them with the latest in Japanese technology. Thurgood, that's not a very polite way to... See? It works. How dare you call us uncivilized? Eat my shiitake mushrooms. Hey, this ain't the way it was supposed to work. Hey, help me out here, Muriel, and use violence. That's the only thing these people understand. Okay, people. Obviously, we've reached an impasse. Muriel's right. Now, is there any new business? We have some new business. Our school is trying to start a library. Any books that you could donate would be greatly appreciated. I don't understand. Why don't you all use the public library? They closed it. We heard they're going to tear it down. What? They closed the library? Now see, that just ain't right. Where the hell are all the homeless people supposed to take their naps? Something ought to be done. I'll tell you why they closed that library. There's nothing scarier to the man than a brother with a book. Yeah, that's deep. Where you hear that? Rerun said it on What's Happening. Mm -hmm. Stop, Muriel! What are you doing? What the? You can't donate this. This is my first edition of Star Wars. It's even signed by Chewbacca. See, right here it says, That's authentic. Well, let's just see what you donated. Oh, Thurgood, this is your family Bible. You can't donate your family Bible. Oh, Mary, look, show us the greatest story ever told, but how many times can you hear it, really? Oh, look, there's a family tree in here. Really? I haven't seen a tree in years. Let's climb. See, here's your daddy, Earl Stubbs, and he married Willa Mae Stark. That's your mama. And here are your daddy's parents, Dooley and Cora, and their parents, and their parents, and their... Oh, my sweet lord! What? What? What is it? Very good. You're related to somebody very, very famous. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Really? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Let me, no, let me guess. I want to guess. Somebody famous. Someone famous. Who could that be? Uh, famous Amos. Let me give you a hint. It's someone who lived in the 18th century. Look, is it or is it not Famous Amos? No, it's not. Okay, well, you didn't say that. It's Thomas Jefferson. Oh. Thomas Jefferson? The guy who owned the high school? Thomas Jefferson, the man who wrote the Declaration of Independence. You see, Thomas Jefferson had a slave. Her name was Sally Hemmings, but they called her Dusky Sally, and she and Thomas Jefferson had a child together, and you're a descendant of that child. Thomas Jefferson? That mean I got white blood in me. I have mixed feelings about that. Thomas Jefferson's not just any white man. He's one of the founding fathers. Hmm, one of the founding fathers, huh? Let me see this thing. Hey, you know I'm surprised I didn't make the connection sooner between me and Jefferson. Look at all these similarities, Muriel. Jefferson made the Louisiana Purchase. I just purchased some Louisiana. Jefferson lived in Monticello. I used to drive a Monte Carlo. Jefferson's on a $2 bill. You have $2 in your savings account. Now you got it, Miriam. Call a tennis meeting. It's time to tell these people that their super is a proud descendant of Thomas Jefferson and Dirty Sally. Dusky. Oh, whatever name is, tell the people come on down. We're going to have a meeting. <sighs> <laughs> okay, Muriel. Now. <sighs> hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Attend ye to this declaration of superintendents. Uh, 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 quiet down, please. Well, in the course of tossing out books, I found the following truths about myself to be evident. And I have ascertained that all men have been created equal, except for those who are more equal, because we are related 
to Thomas Alpha Jefferson. Maria, what's that fool talking about? Thurgood's related to Thomas Jefferson. What? You heard her. Thomas Jefferson was my great, great, great grandmama's baby's daddy. Let me get this straight. You say you related to the author of the Declaration of Independence? That is correct. Well, when in the course of human events are you gonna fix my toilet? Mrs. Avery, when my ancestor Thomas Alva Jefferson had a clog chamber part, he probably asked one of his slaves to address it. Shameful, shameful dark times. But we've come a long way since then. Amen. We don't enslave others to do our work for us. We do it ourselves, proudly. Hallelujah. Now let us rise up and march together to make your toilet free. Hey, the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I may not get there with you, but I want you to know that as a people, we will get there. Testify. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Muriel, did you see how I handled those tenants just now? God, I was brilliant. It was almost as if there was some kind of thinking device in my head telling me what to say. Yes, it was very impressive. You were really inspiring. Yeah, I know. I ran out of Tussie. You know, Muriel, for years I've been a superintendent and that satisfied the slave half of me. Shame on me. Dark times. Dark times. But now that I'm a Jefferson, I feel my life needs more fulfillment, like I have a higher calling. Maybe you could run for office. Muriel, I can't run from offices. You saw what they did to Rodney. Not offices, Thurgood. Elected office. What? Are you crazy? No, I mean it. You're a hard worker. You motivate people. You could even help the community get that library. Mary, you know something? You're right. The community needs more than just a library. It needs a leader. It needs a Jefferson. I'll run for office because I belong to the people. The people own me. Hey, wait. Does that make me a slave? Shameful dark times. Dark times. You're running for alderman? But Thurgood, you don't know nothing about politics. Need I remind you that I am the bastard spawn of Thomas Jefferson and his slave, Sonia Henny? Sally Hemings. Whatever. Look, I've already legally changed my name. Now, who wants to join Team Jefferson? I want to be a spin doctor. Spin doctor? What's that? I put a positive spin on things. Like if your critics say your budget is niggardly. <gasps> niggardly? You're fired. I'm sorry. Okay, you're back. Now I'm going to need an image consultant. Sanchez, that's you. The important thing is not to talk in a monotone. People really hate me. I mean, that. Darnell. Zap so. <laughs> you got a speech for me? Coming up, Jeff Critic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Four scores and three strikes ago, yada, yada, yada. If nominated, I will not run. If elected, I will not serve. Very good. Thank you. Now, the most important job of all, campaign manager, who's left? Walter, can I count on you to press the flesh? Uh, let's save the hookers for the victory party. Now see, that's why you're campaign manager. All right, people. Most folks think we're going to put on a half-ass campaign. I say not good enough. I want a three-quarter-ass effort from each and every one of you. And third good Jefferson's going to ride that extra one-quarter-ass all the way to victory. Jefferson. Jefferson! Yeah, Jeff right there! Jefferson! <laughs> I say you got to reach for the top. Reaching for the top. Yeah. Don't you never stop. I say you got to reach for the top. Reaching for the top. Don't you never stop. Don't you let this up to you. Okay, we already got the black Republican vote. He was easy. Hey, what about the working man's vote? Uh, he was at work. We'll get him tonight. Wait, it's 6.30. Turn on the news. What is it? Oh, is it the oh, yeah. Roosevelt brought you the New Deal. I bring you the New Dealio. And I vow that this community will not succumb to drugs and violence on my watch. Uh, I got your watch right here. Well, you give me that, you damn fool! <laughs> and that's Thurgood Jefferson, continuing to wage his battle for the ninth Ward Alderman office. Although polls show him with less than 3% of the vote. 3%?! 
How can I be so far behind? Don't the people know that I'm a Jefferson? Relax, Thurgood. Read my neck. It's not over till it's over. Keep your big neck shut! <laughs> I can't win! The election's in a couple of days. I don't have no time. I don't have no money. And if I can't win on my name, all I got is my brains and my good looks. Oh, God, this can't end well. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Man, my lifelong dream for the past two weeks to become Alderman Ruin. Gone! Excuse us. Are you Thurgood Jefferson? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Oh. Uh, listen, uh, guys, if this is about me not filing taxes for the past five years, I can explain. Mr. Jefferson, we are not from the government. I represent a consortium that wants to help you win the election. But why me? Because we believe in the same things you do. <gasps> you believe that OJ was innocent? Yes. From now on, we will take care of your entire campaign. What are you going to do? Let us worry about that. Just know we'll ensure your victory. Well, what's in it for me? You'll win the election. Hey, now you're talking. So, shall we seal our relationship with a drink? As long as you buy it. Hmm? Hmm? This is gonna be good. So good! Where have you been? I don't know. I can't seem to account for the last hour and a half. Thurgood, you've been gone three days! Three days?! It's election night! Quiet, y'all! The results are in! And now the returns for the ninth Ward Alderman race. In a stunning upset, Thurgood Jefferson has defeated incumbent Henry J. Phillips. Wow! Of course, I couldn't have done this without my first lady. Well, she wasn't actually my first lady. <laughs> the love of my life, Muriel Rodham Jefferson. Come on, Muriel. Uh, my maiden name is Warren. Muriel, please, we're selling Camelot here. I guess the best way to thank you all for your support is to tell you what I plan to do as your alderman. I will build a new hospital to take care of our sick, a new school to take care of our young, and a new library to take care of our stupid. Remember, I work for you. Correction, you work for me. Okay, everybody, smile for the camera. Government? Cheese! Uh, okay, everybody gather around. I'd like to show y'all the reason why I brought y'all down here. Behold! Oh. Hey, that taxi's picking up a brother. Yes, this model represents the fulfillment of all the promises I made during my campaign. I call it Projects 2000. See, here's a new hospital, and here's a new school. Is there a library? Of course there's a library. This is a utopian vision, isn't it? It's right here between the prisons. Wow, Super, you the alderman. No, you the alderman. Well, let's go. I'm sure Thurgood's got a lot of work to do. Oh, oh geez, geez, my my peace. Now, where to put my home, Thurgood Cello? Hmm. <laughs> alderman Jefferson. Jefferson. Hey, you! Hey, I've been meaning to call you. You got any more of that brandy? We talk, you listen. Oh. Okay, dokie, okay, Artichoke. Thurgood, it's time for your first official act as alderman. You will vote to sell all vacant buildings in your district to YT Liquors. But then I won't be able to make all the improvements I planned on. Hey, look, I can't let the people down. Thurgood, look in your left hand drawer. Do you see a stapler? Yes, I do. That's because you opened the right hand drawer. Now open the left. Clearly, we have you by the arts. What do you think your wife would say if she saw your little photo spread? Oh no, please, please, you mustn't show Mira these pictures. She'd be crushed. Well then, do we have our liquor stores? I don't know how I'm going to convince the people to let me put up more liquor stores. You'll think of something. You're Jefferson. Three cheers for Third God! Hip hop! Hooray! Hip hop! Hooray! Hold your applause, people, please, 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 hold your applause. 
Please, hold your applause. It's the least we could do for the man who's given us a new hospital. Yeah. Oh, yeah, about that. I've been giving that hospital thing a lot of thought lately. Let me ask you a question. What do you get from a hospital? Medicine. And what's the best medicine in the world? Laughter. And who are the happiest people in the world? Drunks. So I say let's cut out the middleman and open a liquor store. Oh. What about the new school? We still got our school, right? Now, what are the chances of our kids getting a good education? The odds are astronomical. With Lotto, on the other hand, the odds are merely improbable. And where do you get your best lottery tickets? At a liquor store. No. Another liquor store? Great idea, Mrs. Avery. We'll scrap the fire station and build another liquor store. Oh. Huh. We should have known he couldn't clean up our community. He couldn't even clear up our building. And to think, I wanted to be your intern. Super. He's still going to build a new library, though, right? Boys, politics is very complicated. Let me see if I can put it in terms you can understand. The library is a lot like Santa Claus. It, it, it doesn't exist. Now, liquor stores, on the other hand, are like God. They're everywhere. Well, Super, you promised. Come on, Juicy. Let's get out of here. Boys, wait. Let me explain. Jefferson, why haven't you filed the paperwork for our new liquor store? Yeah, listen, uh, don't you think a library might be a better idea? Nobody wants another liquor store on the projects. If you build it, they will come. But listen, the property is right next to an elementary school. There's kids in there. Good. We can sell cigarettes, too. Have you people no shame? Tomorrow there's a vote on the library bond. We need you to vote against it. I'm not going to do it. Go on, show those photos to my wife. I don't care. I gave those good people my word. Yes, you did. Your dying word. <sighs> My God, Thurgood, you're not a Jefferson, you're a Clinton. Walter, I was set up. You think your friends can set me up? They're not my friends, they want to kill me. So I'll come up with an idea that just might work. You guys are going to have to kill me first. Kill you? Now I'll have no pretend friends. No, not really kill me. Fake my assassination. If the consortium thinks I'm dead, they won't kill me. What do you say? Oh, I get it. A fake. Just like the CIA, fake JFK, RFK, and MLK. They're all living on a secret island with the Tories B.I.G. We don't need to discuss much. The answer's easy if you take it logically. I'm telling you, there's 50 ways to kill a brother. How about a Colombian necktie? Sticky bomb? Or maybe electrocution? Oh, I like that. Hey, I don't know if you guys get it. You're not actually killing me. You're faking it, all right? I know a guy who for five bucks will beat you in the hamburger with the Dubai for. Thanks, you guys are the greatest. Oh, oh, you suck! Yes, you are right, I do suck. Sometimes in politics you're forced to do things that are difficult. Like the decisions I faced recently. Now I know this won't be popular with some people. But I didn't enter politics to be popular. I entered politics because I am popular. I'm Thurgood Jefferson, and I do what I please. And that's why I voted to build your new library. Jefferson! 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 Long live the library. Jefferson. It's showtime. Uh-oh. Oh. Again, I say, long live the library! Yeah! Uh, sorry, brother in law. For the last time, long live the library! Oh! Oh! 
got the way. Come on. Okay, we're clear. That's a wrap, everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Great work, everybody. That good. Oh, my God. You're alive? Of course I'm alive. Merely was all a fake. A fake? Yeah, we had to kill Third Good Jefferson so Third Good Stubbs could live. I couldn't tell you about it, Muriel. It was for your own protection. Aren't you happy? I'll kill you! Hey, Walter, there's just one thing I don't understand. We all missed. Yeah. I made sure we had a backup. Trailer. Let me know when we shoot for keeps.